is like how do you start looking for professional work as an illustrator did you rely on networking word of mouth or something else well i'm very glad that uh that the question is framed as it is asking how did you instead of how do you because i never want to give anybody advice on how they should do it because it's been it's always been very difficult for me i'm not a good businessman um, but how I did do it was the way that I started was working uh, for friends, to be honest. I, I started the first illustration work that I did was not was not paid illustration work. I, a friend of mine um, now departed, uh, started putting on punk shows in our small town in New Brunswick. And I basically plugged in the sound system and drew the posters and he did everything else. And I got into doing posters and working with type and trying to draw people's attention and seeing my my drawings get out into the world. So that was where illustration started for me. And from there, when I was in um, art school and started trying to make some money with it, doing these gig posters for free for for fun, um, started to bring in bands saying, well, can you do our album cover? And um, I would do album covers for local bands for, you know, something like 400 bucks or something and string as many of those as I could together in a year while washing dishes and chopping onions in a restaurant. And, you know, that built up and gradually I learned other ways of doing it. Um, but really it started finding ways to make things, you know, locally. And, you know, I was able to grow it from there. And now it's got a lot more to do with having an internet presence, having a body of work that people can look to, being visible wherever you can and straight up writing to people that you're interested in working with. Mm. So, yeah, that's that's how I did it. I think, I mean, I think it's hard to pare down the constants because everyone's story is slightly different. But I would say it is something along the lines of make good stuff, get it out there, make good stuff, get it out there and, you know, kind of, yeah, the people. Yeah, definitely. There's, there's, you know, there's smarter and less smart ways of doing so. Um, the getting it out there part is is the hard part, but obviously it starts with making the best work you can, right? Fascinating. I was just at a uh, a festival in Berlin uh, last weekend called Playgrounds, and again, it was a mix of animation, VFX, and illustration, and it was a phenomenon I'd never encountered before. I'd heard about it, but it was the sort of the self-taught Instagram illustrator who right. like, was one one uh, girl and she was amazing work and she taught herself and online and you could see the progress of her improvement but that her career was totally built on Instagram based yeah. on drawing you know fashion like characters in the latest fashion and she built up so many followers that she can make a living with <clears throat> paid promotion you know and like to me you know that didn't exist maybe 10 years ago. That no. wasn't a way to make a living. And it's quite fascinating for me that she has a, a you know, a living and a massive following. And so there's so many ways to do it. It's almost like, you know, pick your pick your path and 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 try it, you know. But um yeah, it's very hard to say what's the best thing. But yeah, definitely the networking word of mouth is a big part of the getting paid for your work, I think, in the traditional mode, you know, just yeah. start getting yeah. some jobs yeah. like my first. Uh, one of my first jobs out of college was illustrating Irish language books, St. Patrick, comic books about St. Patrick, you know, and I really, really went to town on them and tried to do the best job I could and brought in lots of my influences from uh, classic art and everything like that, because even though it was, you know, it was a small enough job for a small publisher in a language not that many people speak, I knew that if I did a good job that it would be a, a gateway to more stuff and, you know, sure enough, yeah. they won some awards and kind of helped put us on the map. So I think it's just getting any work that you do out there and doing it to the best of your ability and then trying to leverage that to, you know, get bigger jobs from that maybe. Yeah, and if if anybody you know uh, is is thinking of this question more in the general terms of you know what should they do, uh, I guess the one thing I would say is this like this format of of asking a question some to somebody online um, is it's not gonna it, it's not really if if that's all you can do then do that but if you can find anybody who's who's done it uh near you anybody you've got access to where you can actually take some time and sit down with them 
um, maybe, you know, more than once because everybody's answer is a little bit different and depends on what you're trying to do. It depends on where you are, uh, loads of different stuff. So if you can ever have a real conversation with somebody who's been there and done it in person, that's the first step to take, I'd say. Yeah, it's crazy because uh, one of my stories as well is like early on when I was in college, I was sketching on the bus and this is the late 90s and I was just sketching on the bus and the guy sitting beside me said, oh, you're an artist. And we got chatting and he happened to be doing this website. And that was like one of my professional jobs. So I have no idea where they're going to come from. And then on the other hand, there are established ways like getting an agent, you know, making contact with publishers sure. and stuff like that. So it's a bit like finding your tribe and then being open to the opportunities wherever they come from. 